We have a great tradition here in Australia. If you love something, you just make it a big thing. <laughs> it all began in December 1964, when Coffs Harbour in New South Wales opened our first supersized landmark, the Big Banana. Since then, more than 150 big things have popped up in country towns and beach resorts right across Australia. From Ballina's Jumbo Prawn to Kimber's Big Galah, Bowen's Massive Mango, Nambour's Big Pineapple, and even Robertson's Giant Potato. Our goods are flaming galah. I have no idea. 150 of them. <laughs> yeah. That's huge. Well, oh, our love yeah. affair doesn't end there today. We are unveiling Australia's next big thing. OK. Let's cross now to the Queensland town of Chinchilla with Mayor Paul McVeigh and Daniel Finch from whatif.com. Oh. So, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a... Huh? It's a... <laughs> Big reveal. Mayor, tell us, what is it? <laughs> It's a big melon. It's yeah. in Australia's next yeah. big thing. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, time for you to do the honours and cut the ribbon. It looks fantastic. Tell us why watermelons are so special to your town, mm. Mayor. Uh, look, it's been a tradition out here for the last 25 years about the Chichilla Melon Festival. Give it up. <laughs> and how great it is that uh, we yes. now have the big melon behind us. So, fantastic. <laughs> Um, how did you make, I mean, such a big watermelon like that? Um, and I've been watching Chinchilla for years. In fact, I've been out there once and I did some water skiing on some watermelons. You know, they do all that stuff as well. Don't you worry about that. Uh, was, yeah, there we are. Look at this. Yeah. Well, Carl, I was going to invite you to come back out. Yeah, the watermelon slip and slide. I mean, it doesn't get much more Australian than that. It's terrific. It's a great atmosphere, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. And it's a great big thank you to What If. It was their idea to create Australia's next big thing. And uh, now we have it happening. We've got the kids here already doing a bit of uh, watermelon skiing. And uh, Daniel, Whoa. the CEO from What If, has just been a fantastic <laughs> partner. And uh, look, we have it happening here. We're trying to get uh, Daniel to ski shortly and uh, give him a bit of a, a, a sensation. But we also, Carl and George, we'd love you to come up here for the Watermelon Festival in February as well. See, this is, this is why Queensland's the best state in Australia. Because at, at places like Bunnings, they're trying to turn over sausages because they're worried about onions falling on the ground. But you've got kids water skiing on watermelons. Look at that, with no safety gear whatsoever. I love this country. <laughs> no, that rope's not a hazard, is it? <laughs> hey, um... well, well, we do have watermelon helmets, but uh, we haven't carved any this morning. <laughs> you wear them the cricket. Daniel, that, that big watermelon is just an absolute beauty. It? It's so realistic, I want to slice a piece off. Yeah. Congratulations, it's wonderful. Yeah, it's a beauty. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Georgie. It's a, it's a beauty. It weighs over four tonne. Really? Um, we put a lot of effort and time and thought into building it, and uh, we're very, very proud, and the team of What If are proud. But the great thing is, <laughs> Chinchillians, you know, the, the community spirit here is alive and it's well, and, you know, I can't think of a better town. And I can't love, think of a better town to get this. I love nah. the fact I love the fact you didn't go seedless. I mean, that's just keeping it real so you can spit the pips out yeah. at your brothers and sisters. It's fantastic. Not one of those genetically yeah. modified ones. <laughs> well, we needed to keep the pips in. We <laughs> need the pips in because that, with the watermelon fest, there's the pip spitting competition. But one thing about the seeds. We've got Daryl here as well and he was the very first melon farmer in Australia to grow the seedless watermelons and that's in Chinchilla and again a great achievement. This is a beautiful community and we've loved being here this no, week. No, I'm not sure about Daryl. The, the record for the pip <laughs> I'm not sure about Daryl. It's a bit un-Australian, <laughs> isn't it? I mean, he, he kind of gives me the pips. <laughs> <laughs> no, Daryl's oh, yeah. a good bloke. One after the other. <laughs> I know, Darryl's Darryl's There's a lot of guys that actually started the Melon Festival. Yeah. yeah. No, he's a great fella, and uh, look, he's done wonderful things. And look, I'm, not sh I'm sure he's not short of a buck either. He's, he's, pretty, <laughs> he's a pretty smart fella. Um, what else have you got planned? Oh, look, today we're going to have a lot of fun. We're getting the town involved. We're doing, as you can see, the watermelon scheme. We've got a barbecue going on. Later on tonight, I'm going to shout Chinchilla a drink at the local pub. Oh, so come on by. down to the club pub and uh, there's a few drinks on me. Do you reckon there are more big things to come? come? George, you guys could oh. probably come up. Say that again, Georgie. More big things to come. What can we, what can we look forward to next? The big peanut, maybe?
yeah, look, the what if team, yeah, look, the what if team, we're going to get back together and we're going to look at uh, what we can do again. We'd love to keep doing doing this bigger and better. So we've done something big, we want something bigger. So we'll see how we go. But look, this is real commitment to Australian tourism. We've been in business for 18 years now and we just want to send more Aussies to great towns like Chinchilla. And I think the, the youth of today need to get out and explore extra, you know, Australia and, and experience communities like this. And this is the, the salt of this country. And I tell you, when you go and visit towns like this, it reminds you being Australian is great. So Good on you, we're going to commit so to this well and stick very well, with it. Very well oh, said and a great campaign <laughs> and supporting country towns uh, like this one. It's awesome. And if, you, if you're putting some money on the bar, we'll come by for a couple of black rats. Your shout. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you, love, you love a forex gold, Carl. We know that. Yeah, that's Look true. Look at Mayor Paul. He looks like I, I a proud father, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. <laughs> Just giving birth to a watermelon. <laughs> I, I very much so. <laughs> I, I felt, Carl, Georgie, one of the things about the, the, big, the next big thing and the big melon is that uh, whilst this is uh, the melon festivals every two years, this puts us on the map 365 days of the year. Exactly. And I can't thank What If enough for uh, yeah, what they've done for, the, for our town of Chinchilla and our region. And it is about tourism. Yeah. And, uh, as you say, and having fun. <laughs> like the yeah. colours of uh, the melons. They are, they are about fun. Look at the young ones now. Yeah. So. Oh, yes. Fantastic, isn't it? No, so safety. well it's said. Beautiful. Well, enjoy the celebrations. Congratulations. And, um, yep, we're on our way to Chinchilla. No doubt about it. Thank you for this morning. Right, I will. <laughs> thank you, Georgie, and thank you very much. Thanks, Carl. Thanks, Only if we can do that. Yeah, yeah just nearly ripped his arms off. <laughs> I love Queensland. Oh, <laughs> poor little kid. <laughs> Can't straighten them now. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you guys. Terrific stuff. Great bit of colour, isn't it? Yeah. Take a look at that, Bunnings. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Hi there, and thanks for watching. For all the latest from the Today Show, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And for exclusive content, head to todayshow.com.au.